They'll never spot us here, lads. Yes, indeed. Somehow I haven't talked about the iconic Black Orcs. One of the best infantry units in the game overall. I'm, I'm not going to say necessarily the best great weapon unit explicitly. They, uh, there's an argument to be made that they are. But what do Black Orcs offer? We'll get back to that in just a minute. This is Butcher Bird versus Unreal Expectations uh, again. This time, yeah, Unreal is the green skins, Butcher with... Norska, let's take a look here in the open. We've got Throg, three Ice Trolls, a bunch of Marauder Horsemen, some Javelins, Marauder Infantry as well, a couple of Warhounds. A nice skirmish force for the Greenskins. The Wolf Chariots is an interesting one. Uh, they are missile units. They'll be able to contribute a little bit in this skirmish fight, but also anti-infantry. And I wonder, the, the infantry bonus does count against Hounds, and I wonder if he brought them specifically to counter Warhounds, but I think they'll probably still get torn apart if they get charged. So good to try and get away from that there. Uh, interesting. Some more spider riders. We've got the Skulkers, Black Orcs, and Stone Trolls all in the woods here with the uh, Goblin Big Boss and Wurzag. Is that dancing Wurzag? It is. Oh, I can't believe I missed the dancing at the beginning. Shameful display. Hopefully we'll catch some again here sometime soon. We've got Bob on foot as well, backing up his lads. And man, ever since they gave him the rework, the Black Orcs look legit. I love them on the different color schemes too, but the classic, classic one definitely very good. So, Black Orcs, what do they offer? Well, 50 weapon damage is great. Uh, 29 charge bonus, also pretty solid here. Getting a little bit of physical resistance from Warzag right now. You could ignore that. Then you have uh, immune to psychology baseline, which is something that not a lot of other great weapon infantry have. Um, yeah, only 36 attack and 26 defense might seem low on paper, but they have a ton of HP. Uh, and 110 armor is also fantastic. Of course, green skins have a more or less constant stream of buffs possible, especially with somebody like Wurzag giving a constant Bonewood Staff proc, right? So you can just more or less increase their melee attack by average of, I don't know, like 8 over the course of the battle, and in big spikes, spikes potentially even higher. Fists of Gork here, and here we go, both being brought uh, on Wurzag to help juice them up. Of course, uh, Bob's also got... Uh, I actually don't think Bob bought, brought his little buff item, but he can also take that potentially. But uh, anyway, moving over to the skirmish fight for just a moment while the Black Orcs approach. You can see the Goblin Wolf Chariots and the Spider Riders maneuvering against the Horsemen. There's a whole, you know, game of chess. Horse Masters as well, of course, mixed in there going on over here. A saga of spiders and... I don't know, shields. <laughs> they actually don't have any shields. Not any throwing axes here, but anyway. Um, yeah, the Black Orcs, they are just... They're so good. They're so, so good. Uh, they... they As a unit, um, they're pretty defining. Basically, if you can keep them protected from certain things, they will grind through most things in the game. Like, they're just absolute meat grinders. Um, yeah. They'll get to their... You know, time in the sun here in just a minute. We do have to have a little bit of an extended skirmish phase, so we're going to fast forward somewhat through this so that we can get to the action. Nice maneuvering here, but uh, the hounds do come over, and again, taking the charge from the chariots, I'm not really sure. I guess that's what he's bringing them for. I'd be curious to know, um, Butcher Bird, if you end up seeing this, or maybe I'll even shoot you a message on Discord, just because I, I really like the idea of this in, like, against maybe Wars of Chaos or Norska, where... Their quote-unquote light cavalry is very li very likely to be a hound unit, taking the chariot as a potential, you know, little quick counter charge. I mean, you can do that too with spider riders and other units, but I don't know. It's just interesting. Could potentially be good against light Norskin infantry as well, but let's continue to fast forward through this skirmish fight. M players are more or less just trading value equally here. Maybe slightly going in Norska's favor, it's hard to say. One of the chariots does get routed there. But, I mean, the Rotter Horsemen also taking a considerable amount of damage. They are more expensive than the Greenskins missile units. I mean, I guess chariots are exactly the same cost, but... Both players just content to kind of let this skirmish engagement play out for a bit. But eventually we will get to the front line. And uh, the Stone Trolls leading the charge, potentially. No, they're going to pull up just short. Let the Gobbos come in here, potentially uh, get some... Smoke Bombs, uh, Effigy to get used on Throg in the front line to prevent him from countercharging back into the Stone Trolls. Fists of Gork also used on them, up to 72, 100 and... 
Wow, 112 up with Here We Go and the Bonewood Staff all popping off. You can see as all the Greenskins units move into this Here We Go, they're going to get seriously juiced up on attack. And even though they didn't necessarily get a charge here, the Black Orcs are now going to start pounding. Burning Head does rip through there. Does a little bit of damage, not too much, but... Um, yeah, here in the center, you can see these Norskin units, these, uh, these poor Ice Trolls just get absolutely melted. Uh, the Black Orcs with Here We Go up to 76 melee attack. Uh, you no know Bonewoods proc currently active. And they will just destroy everything, especially with this. You see the way the Skulkers, it's almost like monstrous infantry on top of regular infantry, the way the Skulkers kind of like run around their ankles and, you know, shank <laughs> kind of in the gaps. Pretty interesting to see. But uh, where's that going to pull away a little bit there? Him and Bob going after Throg. Doing a, doing a dance over there. Uh, the skirmish cab for the Greenskins eventually come in and just say, let's commit to a melee fight. You know, we've got the, the buffs from Wurzag. And the nasty Skulkers, I mean, they are just goblins. They're going to run away, as to be expected. But these two Black Orcs now in the center, just cleaning absolute house right now against all this Norska stuff. The Marauder Infantry and the Trolls really can't stand up to a heavy assault like this and uh, ice trolls uh they're 60 armor so not the most armor in the world and it's not like you would think oh, i need lots of armor piercing in this matchup i mean you might for a couple of targets but it's more so just that black orcs are one of the strongest frontline units in the game because of all the buffs potential um and the fact they're just so meaty the hp and the armor and the high weapon damage Consider that a lot of monstrous cavalry have an area of 50 weapon damage, right? So you consider that, and then you realize that Black Orcs are basically like 60 Demigriff Knights. You know, obviously without the mobility and charge bonus, but still, in terms of damage output potential, just insane weapon damage. They can two-shot a lot of infantry units in the game. Um, in terms of, like, model versus model combat. Here against the Ice Trolls, like the Ice Trolls don't even really get a chance to regenerate because they just take so much damage from the Black Orcs that the models just die. So that's the thing. If there's anything that just needs to get hit in the face really, really hard, Black Orcs are one of the unit best units in the game at doing that. So <laughs> they're, as far as your kind of generalist great weapons go, uh, they're one of the best. And especially another huge advantage of Black Orcs is their thick mass. They are one of the heaviest infantry units in the game in terms of mass uh, both value and weight classification like they are just meat bags absolute meat bags so it's really hard to pull through them and they're one of the one of the units that defines the greenskins frontline being arguably the best in the game one of the top infantry factions for sure black orcs are a big part of that here both performing as expected lots of kills lots of damage uh, 14,000 damage, 12,000 damage, just great stuff. Uh, Warzag's buffs definitely do contribute to that, and I mean, he's kind of the ideal uh, stream of buffs character, but there's other things you can do, certainly, uh, whether it's lowering your opponent's melee defense with something like the uh, sneaky, uh, what they need stabbing, that's what it is, or the, the fungus, you know, there's various things you can do to try and mitigate the fact that their stats are actually attack and defense wise not that great for their cost. It's interesting to me also that these goblin wolf chariots largely pay for themselves just in the skirmish fight, which is not something you see all the time. I'll have to kind of think about this in matchups going forward, but uh, yeah, for Butcher Bird here. A little bit of a rough go. This is potentially a pretty tough matchup. The Javelins, though, do a great job. The Horsemen doing okay as far as the skirmish fight goes. The Hounds, not so much. They kind of got crumped a little bit there, and I guess maybe that comes down to the Chariots. I also see people taking Ice Trolls in this matchup. I just personally would still take Skin Wolves here. That's just me, uh, but all Skin Wolves will still struggle against Black Orcs. You know, their lack of AP against Black Orcs is definitely going to be a problem. And uh, anyway, let's go ahead and just kind of buy up this discussion. In terms of elite great weapon infantry, uh, Black Orcs are definitely up there in terms of like the Axe infantry. Obviously Chosen are significantly more expensive, so it's maybe not even appropriate to put them in the same tier. But uh, yeah, Greenskins, Black Orcs, they kind of sit in between like Warriors with great weapons and Chosen with great weapons, right? So you would expect Chosen with great weapons to just be overall much better. And still, same weapon damage, though, and that's the key thing that I want you to take away from this, is the, we the weapon damage on Black Orcs is just so good. It's so, so good. 
and obviously chosen much better attack and defense stats baseline. They are even one speed slower, better leadership and armor, but less HP. 8,000 HP is just a ridiculous amount. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, in terms of the like really elite great weapon infantry, I mean, m maybe you also consider something like Blade Singers. They are armor piercing, but I, I don't really, I don't know. They're more anti infantry, so they're more comparable to something like a great sword rather than an act like a great axe. If you can see what I mean with that, and uh, I mean, again, you have like high elves, but they have the anti large, anti infantry kind of dichotomy. Same thing with the dark elves, so it's hard to really compare these guys to anything directly. Bestigor, another one that's somewhat similar in cost and usage. Uh, Bestigor, 10 less weapon damage though, <laughs> or only 100 less points, and the uh, black orcs also picking up immune psychology. Bestigor, much faster, 7 speed faster, but. Less leadership, less armor, much less HP, less attack, less defense. They do have more charge, a little bit more charge. But yeah, that 10 less weapon damage is very significant. Best Gore is not the best unit. They're okay in some matchups, but Black Orcs, you can be safe taking Black Orcs in just about every matchup. And you know, they'll generally perform well if you keep them from getting shot too much. Um, in terms of HP, I want to say they're the highest HP... Uh, elite infantry in the game. I mean, you have Norska meme champions, but no one talks about them because they're terrible. Uh, only 50 points less than Greenskin's uh, Black Orcs, and again, 10 less weapon strength, less charge, less melee defense, uh, 30 less armor, uh, what, 900, almost 1,000 less HP, uh, significantly s faster, I guess, 6 speed, maybe not that big of a difference, and they have the enraged thing, but no immune to psychology. Black Orcs, they literally will just just blend everything. Just mollywop anything you throw at them for the most part. They're the true armor-piercing Swiss Army Knife uh, meat grinders. And uh, yeah, that's definitely a backbone of Greenskin's army. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one. If you like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.